Hello and welcome to the weekend ride to the Qatar stadiums, all Qatar um, uh, venues. Uh, today we are heading towards uh, Al Saad Stadium, one of the finest uh, architectural design, uh, which was, uh, which is actually the home of uh, Al Saad Football Club. It was built in the in the design. Actually, they were it was inspired by the Manchester United Stadium. And it was. It is one of uh, Qatar's first football stadium, which has a temperature cooling system. And uh, it was very. It was a kind of innovation that uh, were new to this uh, Arab world. And Al Saad Stadium is one of the historic as well, and it has hosted several uh, important matches. club that was formed in 1969 has seen the the best uh, has been a part of Qatar football history with a lot of international tournaments including there were two time also there's a two time Asian Champions League uh, winners and several top footballers around the world after the retirement they had played in Qatar uh, for this club nowadays uh, former Barcelona legend Xavi Hernandez is the head coach of the club and even uh, one of the topmost players of Spain, Cajola, is nowadays playing for uh, Al Sadd. Al Sadd boasts of uh, signing very top names even including uh, some of the best known Qatari footballers and uh, like uh, Hassan Al Haidos, Hassan Al Haidos, and uh, Saad Al Jeeb, the goalkeeper. They are all Qatari top players, and uh, and we are reaching the main entrance of the stadium. It's a very very compact, concise, neatly built stadium. A lot of parkings are, uh, parking facilities are there. And unlike the mega stadiums like Janu or there you can see the training facility, the, one of the oldest training facility, the previously the uh, Al Saad team used to practice in that, see that just opposite to the main stadium. And uh, this is the surroundings of uh, Al Saad stadium. I remember covering uh, the first time a match here with when PSG uh, Paris Saint Germain was here in 2013 January they were on a friendly camping here not a friendly I mean I would say as you know the top winter. European clubs the winter camp they used to host here so I first time I I covered a match was in 2013 Armstrong may have uh, been to the stadium like before the meet yes Armstrong uh, I came um, here in 2006 and um, Ivory Coast, I covered a friendly match between Ivory Coast and um, Qatar. Then some of the stars of Ivory Coast were playing for some of the big clubs uh, in the English Premier League. So it was the first dose of uh, big time stars to see the stars from close, close, closer look. And uh, before I had shifted to Qatar, I, I had covered the first international game competition, Asia Cup. I came from India um, for the Times of India and I covered the Asia Cup in 2011. It was the first game I remember I was actually stunned. I was actually stunned to see the facilities around, the infrastructure around. India was playing on the opening day against Australia. And the compactness, I mean, uh, normally what we see in India is a different kind of uh, stadium. Here it was compact and uh, you know the spectators don't get to you know jostle around. It was like an eye opener for most of us like who haven't seen the, the best of infrastructure, the football stadiums or any sports stadium. Yes, do you agree? Yes, um, the facilities for the spectators uh, are very smooth. Uh, everything is taken care of and everything is done to a perfect team. We are now heading towards um, the Al Saad's training 
as training center it is just opposite to the uh, opposite to the main stadium it used to be it used to be their training center they used to practice uh, or, uh, i mean at this uh, training ground but last uh, last year last year they had built another multifunctional uh, training center just behind the stadium which we will also show you in the course of time this is the oldest training center of alsa alsa football stadium or alsa club alsa club has a very good uh, very impressive history in uh, qatar football several as we had said several top players around the world had played and very recently uh, raul gonzales uh, spanish captain and uh, real madrid star they were also uh, he was also a part of alsat's campaign the league champion they were when they were the league champion in 2012 under their moroccan coach hussein amuta uh, raul was the captain at that point of time uh, look at the fabulous setup and it's an envy for any football club around the world i mean uh, we are not we are not comparing with the the european uh, level but in the asian at the asian standard uh, alsad has one of the best facilities stadium just across uh, isn't it a you know nice uh, i mean in terms of the logistics very uh, very compact very nicely maintained nicely maintained stadium and sad hosts uh, most of their home matches when they play in the afc champions league at the same venue and uh, but this time they uh, couldn't progress to the knockout stage and sad sports club now this season the new QSL staff here they have been doing very good and well, last year they have not been consistent enough and they have packed a few new players and going great guns in the QSL staff league and they have a rich history like my colleague said Chavi is their coach so as everybody knows the Barcelona legend and a few years back Gonzalez Raul Gonzalez was also here and a number of big time stars have come here and played with Alsad over the years they don't only participate uh, they don't only participate in football they have a table tennis team and some of their top players they represent the Qatar national team also they have a very uh, good basketball team also they have a very good volleyball also they participate everywhere i mean they also have a chess team so in you know, all uh, sad contribution to the qatar sports you know a kind of uh, a developing or kind of you know, encouraging encouraging uh, sports uh, in qatar sad would obviously rank is one of the best uh, sporting outfits this area comprises a lot of residences and uh, one of the best uh, area a uh, lot of eating joints a lot of uh, cafe shops and um, people gather here in the evening and there are adjoining couple of uh, food outlets near the stadium and we'll show you uh, the the team bus one of the oldest team buses of Alsat club and uh, there you can see now it's like a part of uh, legacy and uh, it's a part of legacy uh, the, their oldest i mean one of the team buses they used to carry the players the teams to the 
to the stadium. Talab in Khalid Street, and as we hit on this street, you will see there is another stadium that came up uh, during the handball 2015 handball world championship, and it is called Arapia Arena. We are entering through gate number 4 of the Alsa Stadium. We are heading down to the main entrance. Let's uh, show you some of the inside enclosures of the clubhouse. In 1969, the club was formed. See some of the banners. And this is the enclosure of the clubhouse. Some of the current stars who are playing in the team right now. Baghdad, Monija, Sandy Kayola, Hassan al -Haidouz. Akram Afif. Probably this is the foundation stone of the club. And in '69, trophies won by Sad Club. Small little mementos. A beautiful uh, entrance. This is the club sitting area. And the visitors can come and spend their time here. It's no less than a four-star hotel lobby. Yes, I'm sure. It's no less than a four-star uh, hotel lobby. Correct. You can go and see the club collection. The club collection. The trove of success. The trof trophy cabinet. The trophy cabinet consists of so many important victories in Alsa's history. So this is the one Champions League trophy. Two, two times winners. Fabulous collection. Including their Qatar Stars League, uh, still they are one of the most successful uh, clubs in football. Football, other sports. Yeah, this includes. Uh, uh, this includes the not only football, the basketball, the volleyball, America, volleyball, table tennis, and uh, athletics as well. So uh, the club is itself is a is a kind of a, a legacy. Uh, if you talk about the legacy of Qatar sports, sub uh, would obviously, in, my, in our opinion, would be number one because the rest of the clubs that were formed. They, they compete, uh, most of their competition is against uh, Al Arabi, one of the, uh, again one of the topmost clubs. But again, uh, one must, we must say that Arabi, Al Arabi uh, Sports Club had really the performances had receded in the, in, the recent, in, in the recent years. But this season, Arabi has really done well in uh, volleyball and uh, double tennis. Uh, and in PSL football, Qatar Stars League football, they are doing well. They have uh, maintained uh, quite a good standing. But nobody can match Al Sadd Sports Club. Because when it comes to quality, player selection, player signing, they go for the best. And there is a kind of 
you know, professionalism that is associated. You can see, you can make out. I mean, uh, it's very rare. I mean, uh, I haven't come across a, a club in Qatar who has a trophy cabinet as huge as this one. This is the end of our journey today. For today, this is uh, what we uh, what we what we could do and the best we could have brought out from the Qatar uh, sports point of view. And uh, we hope to take you to another venue sometime next week. Thanks for joining us. Do subscribe to our channel and do watch our videos. Thanks.